Hey, I'm Chad Asliwa, the host of this video tour of BCIT's Aerospace Technology Campus. Come on this adventure with me. Let's go check out the campus. Before we get started, we just want to acknowledge that our campuses are located on the unceded traditional territory of the Coast Salish First Nations. Those include Tsleil-Waututh, Musqueam, and Squamish Nations. Now come follow me. Let's check out this campus. We are now inside the lobby of BCIT's Aerospace Technology Campus here in Richmond, British Columbia. And I sure do feel small because this campus is huge. It totals over 300,000 square feet, making it one of Canada's largest aerospace training facilities. Let's spend some time exploring this beautiful campus. We have now come from the lobby inside to this beautiful hangar. It is huge. It's over. 40,000 square feet. There's every type of plane and helicopter in here, and it gives students an opportunity to learn how to fix them and fly them. I think right over there, there's a CRJ-100, which is a learning training plane, and hopefully we can get inside. Let's go. I think somebody's here. Let's go see if we can learn all about it. Okay, we're now inside of the CRJ-100, and I'm here with BCIT instructor, Parm Rai. Parm, this is a really impressive plane here. Why is it so important and useful to help students when it comes to educating them? Like you said, this is a CRJ used around the world as a regional jet, up to 50 passengers around, and it's a full glass cockpit. Great learning tool because most of the aircrafts today are fully digital, and this aircraft represents all that. So this gives them a good step up to go and start in the industry. Wow, that's awesome. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate no problem. it. Let me check it out. I'm going to sure. see what they're doing out there. Yep. All right, I just hopped off the plane. There's a bunch of students around doing some work on the plane. So I'm just going to check in with one of them, see what they're up to. Hey, how's it going? Not better yourself. Okay, what's your name? Rojan. Oh, Rojan. Rojan, I'm yep. Chad. It's nice to meet you again. Nice Tell me you what you guys are doing here. These guys are trying to jack this plane up. We're probably going to do a gear swing on this CRJ-100 because we're manually jacking this. We have to be very coordinated. And if you see those guys under the wing and those guys under the wing, they're using the same jack and they have to be jacked up at the same rate. So I am trying to coordinate that because they can't see each other, but all three of them can see me. Awesome. Well, I won't interrupt anymore. Oh, thank Thanks you. for showing me. Appreciate it. Crank it with my hand. Coming up. Get the full range of it. All right, that was pretty cool, but we're gonna continue exploring the hangar. I just noticed some students here sitting in this helicopter. Hey, how's it going? Going good, how you doing? Good, good, good. Can you tell me what you guys were doing here? Looks like a bit of wiring or something was going on. What we're doing is our final semester project. We've been taxed with putting GPS integration on this Bell 206 f ring. Nice, that's awesome. Well, I won't stop you guys from working away here. You got a final project to do. Thanks for showing me. Okay, take Thank care. You. We're on the west wing of this campus and there are over 40 classrooms. Just like this one over here is the landing gear and hydraulics classroom. And on the other side here, we have an AME shop. As you can see, it's a very hands-on program. In fact, 50% of each class involves students doing hands-on work, just like the students behind me here too. There's an engine shop over here and they're learning how to work with these engines for the future. We're gonna let them learn and keep exploring this campus. Follow me. So I heard there was a flight simulator inside of this campus. So I'm gonna pop into this room right here and see if somebody's here to show me how to use it. Let's take a look. Oh, hey, how's it going? Good, how about you? Good, I'm Chattis. Matt, welcome. Hey, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. This looks exciting. Tell me what it is. So this is our flight simulator at BCIT. We've got our pilots using it. Um, we're also looking to get our avionics and M program trained up on this. So did you want to come in for a ride? Yeah, I would love to. Let's Let check it out. That would be so cool. So I set us up here. We are at uh, beautiful Vancouver airport. You got the mountains on the right side okay. there. So very realistic. Wow. What I'm going to get you to do yeah. is keep the um, control pushed in for now. You can okay. feel the movement, right? It's, okay. This is pulling it back. Yeah. So keep it pushed in right now. I'm going to do my best to steer us forward. Okay. So so we're going to get our uh, engine started here. Okay. So you can see our airspeed is starting to build up here. Okay. Yeah, I can see that. Okay. okay. And then, yeah, at any point, just slowly, just slowly pull back. it up. Okay. Yeah, keep going, keep going. Oh, so we're going to climb up on altitude so you can level it up just a little bit, push it okay, in. Okay, push it in. 
There you go, you've done your first takeoff. Look at that. Look at the beautiful shadeless we sea. We got the right sunshine up there. Oh my God, perfect Vancouver day. Hey, look at that. And in the simulator here, we can also simulate engine failure, oil, electrical failure, all these different things, which is going to be great practice for them to practice for a real life emergency situation if that ever needed. That's really nice. Well, I'm going to leave you to it. I'm, uh, can you handle it? If yes, I leave? I, I've got it all under okay. control. Okay, well, I'm going to head, head out and we're going to keep exploring here, okay? Perfect, awesome. awesome. Thanks so much, man. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. We're now on the first floor and we're inside the library here. They got computers for students to work on. They have books. I even see sleeping pods in the corner. But the most fascinating thing that I think is really cool is there's a simulator here that any of the students can use whenever they like. Let's go take a look. It's pretty cool. Hey, how's it going? Good, how are you? Good, what's your name, man? Logan. Logan, nice to meet you, Logan. Can you tell me what you're doing here? Do you mind if I sit? Yeah, take awesome. a seat. Awesome, yeah. Let's check uh, this right out. here, what I'm doing is I'm starting a practical. We're working on uh, flight simulator instrumentation. Okay. So we're just taking a look at all these dials and stuff. Yeah, you just pretty much fly around. I'm pretty sure my paperwork wants me to just get comfortable with the controls. It's quite a lot of fun, just spend your lunch break. Well, I'll let you fly in, work through you flying the aircraft. Procedure. Yeah, for sure. But thanks for showing me, appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. Yeah. Besides the library here at BCIT, there's a cozy cafeteria, pool tables for students to play on, ping pong, and a nice open space to take a break from your studies. Just outside the cafeteria, there is a beautiful courtyard space here. You can bring your lunch out and enjoy the beautiful BC sunshine. And you know what? I see just in the corner there, there's a basketball court. Let's go see if we can shoot some hoops. All right, I found some new friends out here on the court. Thank you so much for watching this campus tour video. I invite you to come check out this amazing facility. Take care. All right, ball up. Here we go.